The Rogue has been this place that people have been enamored with for years. We were lucky to have it become one of the wild and scenic rivers in the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act. But it's there because it's such a special place. It's in some ways unspoiled and that makes it just a, a joy to have moved down through this space. I've had more wonderful experiences in these three days than I had in three months. Witnessing the power of the river as well as the serenity of it, the forests, just gorgeous, breathtaking. Everywhere you look, there's something to be astonished by. In the 1968 Wild and Scenic Rivers Act, the intent of that was to preserve places like this, keep them sacred for the enjoyment of all. You completely escape from your normal life. There's no communication with the outside world and you can totally immerse yourself in what you're experiencing at the time. Being out on the river is so healthy on so many levels, emotionally, physically. It's a good kind of tired at the end of the day. Socially, the, the, the people I've met on this trip, I mean, it's like instant bonding. That's what I've always loved about running rivers, is sharing it with people and making those connections. I view these river trips as a transformative journey, both in just the fun and experience, but also in knowledge that you gain and, and perhaps a perspective of what's so important um, about these uh, waterways that we want to protect. Rogue River Keeper is part of a worldwide network of water keepers, um, all under the banner of the Water Keeper Alliance. And we all have the same mission of ensuring that our waterways are swimmable, fishable, and drinkable um, to ensure healthy communities, healthy fish, and abundant recreation opportunities. We're one of the few environmentally focused nonprofit organizations that use the legal component. We participate and contribute to restoration efforts and cleanups and other awesome opportunities to engage like that. But real change happens on the legislative floor. It happens in courtrooms, it happens in emails. So we take on that position. What is really impacting the rogue now? Increased urban development and encroachment. So it's necessary to protect our urban tributaries and streams, improving our agricultural practices so they're less impactful on our waterways. Also how our wastewater is treated and um, inputted into our waterways is always on my mind, as well as engaging in the management of our wild and scenic areas of the road. We recently got hundreds of new miles of tributaries added to that. Working for a company that cares about what happens in the places that we travel is super important. These places need champions to take care of them and we get to do that. One of the ways that we support conservation efforts at Row Adventures is that when people pay for a trip, they have the option to pass a little bit of money directly through to the organizations that we support at each of our rivers. Rogue River Keeper's relationship with recreational outfitters is so important. They are out on the river every day and they have the best on the ground information on what's going on with the river, what the status and health of the river is in real time. Anything that gets people out there installs like a sense of stewardship in these people and a love for the river when they can get out there and experience it for themselves. You need to know a place to love it and if you love it, then you'll want to help conserve it. I spend so much of my work advocating for the Rogue in kind of some very tense legal arenas. Just getting to be out here and remember the fun side of this work and why we're really doing this is um, renewing my sense of responsibility to this area and getting to just have some fun. We're really lucky to get to be the stewards of this area and I just want everyone to take that pretty seriously because once it's gone, it doesn't come back.
I feel conservation is extremely important. We've got to do everything we can to protect this amazing wilderness. It just seems so obvious to me. It's hard for me to say, oh, I've got to convince you to be protective of these wonderful resources we have because I can't understand why anybody wouldn't. I think we need to stay connected to nature if we're going to make the world a better place. So what does conservation mean to me? I have 12 grandkids. It means making sure that they can experience the same things I do. I get teared up, but yeah.